We're Marilyn McCoo. And Billy Davis Jr. And you're watching our Steve Harvey Morning Show, Ask Anything Chat. Our new track is called Blackbird. Thanks to Steve Harvey and iHeartRadio for having us on this morning. Well, so I guess we better get the chat on. Okay. <laughs> this first question, question is from Jen from Hartford, Connecticut. How did you get hooked up with Kathy Ireland? Ah. Well, that's a good question. Yes, you know? that is a very good question. Well, actually, we met Kathy through some mutual friends uh, over 20 years ago. Wait, it has been that long, hasn't it? That's right. It? That's wow. right, Kathy. Time Kathy's flies. been in our lives a long time. A long time. Yes. And Kathy now owns the recording company EE1, which is distributed by B, uh, BMG. Yes. And that is the company that has our, our music on it. Blackbird. They put out Blackbird. Yes, yes indeed. You know, back, I guess it was around... 2005, somewhere around there, uh, when back when Katrina happened. Yes. And and uh, we got together with Kathy, and and we went down to Mississippi. You know, everybody was focused no, on New no, Orleans no, no, because no, no, New Orleans right. was really hit the worst. But Mississippi was hit badly as well. And we went down there and distributed food, and and uh, you know, she has such yeah. a heart of gold. That's right. Just helping the people out, just being being servants. Real yeah. sweetheart. From Jess, from Orlando. That's <laughs> <laughs> what he said. What do your vocal warm-ups sound like? Do you really want to know, Jess? Is that, okay. are you serious? Uh, you want to really want to okay. know what they sound like? Okay, here we go. Na, 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 Do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, so, do, la, do, ti, do, do. You asked You for asked for it. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is from Tracy from Vancouver. Have you kept a lot of your memorabilia from over the years? Have we kept our memorabilia? Oh, my gosh. Our house is a mess from memorabilia. We've had so many wonderful things given to us from fans of, around the years. Artwork. That's right. You People would think we're a couple of little pack rats. But... <laughs> But the whole thing is that, uh, you know, you get so close to this stuff and it becomes a part of you. So, uh, yes, we do have a lot of memorabilia. You know, and you have so many wonderful experiences out on the road. That's and, right. And uh, some things, you, you they become so close to you and, and you, you just can't get rid of them. That's right. You know. Jenny from Detroit, Michigan. How did the new project come together? Had it been in the back of your mind or was it suggested to you? You know, we were talking with our with our producer Nick Mendoza, and and we call him our millennial Produ producer, producer because yeah. he's way younger than we are. <laughs> and uh, we had we had met through our management company, and uh, he had come highly recommended as a very talented uh, new producer. And we started talking about ideas. And one of the ideas was about Blackbird. Yes, and indeed. it being a civil rights. Uh, uh, anthem. Absolutely. And uh, so we made it a human rights anthem because it is for all of our human rights. Yes, and we felt like with things that are happening right now in our country, that people need to be encouraged to stand up and, and respect one another and care about one another. And so many of the young people, that's where their hearts are. That's right. And we wanted them to know that, you know, we're older than they are, but our hearts are in the same place. We're there with you. Okay. Now here's another question from Lisa from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. When did you become born again? Oh, did you both realize this at the same time? Was there a driver to change your lives? I felt like there was something missing in my life. And I was I was trying to figure out what it was, but it wasn't my husband because we were happily married and everything was good. But it was just like there was something I felt like there was there needed to be something more in my life. And that's uh, when a girlfriend of mine started sharing with me about something that had been missing in her life. And it was like, oh, my gosh, how does she know how I feel? And she started talking to me about the Lord. And as the more she talked and she started me reading the Bible and. That's actually how it all began. I'm glad that that happened that way because that started me. I grew up in church, but I kind of like got away from it, you know, seeking my career and different things like that. And uh, when I saw Marilyn running around the house with the Bible, I, I was surprised, you know, but uh, 
I'm glad I did see that because it reminded me that I needed to get myself right with the Lord. And right shortly after Merlin was born again, I rededicated my life to the Lord. And we both feel like that's been a very powerful thing in our lives and in our marriage. For our last question, this is for from Carrie, who's in San Jose, California. Mm-hmm. Do you watch old clips of yourself on YouTube? Boy, we do. <laughs> we do, and we enjoy it, don't we? Oh, yes. Thank God for YouTube. You know, we get a chance to go back and see ourselves when we're younger, and we, and, and we have a lot of fun watching them because we laugh at ourselves and all the stuff that when we hit those bad notes and all kind of stuff. YouTube is, is really just wonderful. Well, you've been watching our Steve Harvey Morning Show, Ask Anything, Chad. Thanks to Steve for having us on the show. Our new track is called Blackbird. See you again. <laughs>